up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing to It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves just make it official. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it up. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. And he switches to Southpaw. Superman punch, how about it? Blocks that strike. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with that big right hand. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, a huge block there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Wow, what a head kick! Well, it's one thing to kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Hands higher, hands higher. Just over two minutes to go. go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. A single collar tie here. Under two minutes now to go round one. Big body kick. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Uh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch to see. Able to check the high kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? A uh, little single collar tie there. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his... The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice punch there by Lynch. Oh, 
So he blocks the strike and now counters with a jab. Length doesn't always tell the story, but in this one, it has certainly been a factor. Here we go. Set the pace. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hand punch from the Ooh. Big powerful punch man. Now we get back to range. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ball left hook to the head. It's blocked. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. All right, single collar tie now. Well, at some point, you've really just got to start mixing things up a bit more, get some strikes to the body. At this point, he's really just been a headhunter. That is, oh man, this dude is good. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Trying to hammer that lead leg. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch by Lee. He need the takedown. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find pitch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 60 seconds. Finish strong. Finish strong. Yeah. Nice punch land. Oh, huge kick. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Knee to the body, that one was blocked. Big kick land. Oh! 20 seconds now remain in the round. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Ooh, big shot land. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, 
you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Takedown defense holds up. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's mid. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Liver kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Ooh, what a punch. How about that chin? All right, so he continues to get oh, huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that power on the kill. The kill shot is what they call it, to go and end the fight. Oh, straight right. Beautiful punch. Nice one, two there. Right hand landed. Whiffs on the straight right. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up, he went high on the and now he's got him hurt very bad. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back and forth we go here! Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, big punch land. Just missed with the left there. Nice one-two combination there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy go. Wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight with a jab. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip the fight, the longer he can prolong his career. Good stick. right hand is true.
Waning seconds here of round number three. Lee's kick is blocked. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Great about fight. his powerful Great. kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, collar tie. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Spinning back fist. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. with these beautiful leg kicks. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Try to establish that jab. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Three minutes to go. Good punch. Left hook counter there yet again. Can't take many of those, you better check. Right hand on point. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight right hand. A beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Nice loop of punch. Doing a nice job keeping the guard up, but that usually means the body is wide open. And his opponent wisely saw that and landed the straight hand to the body. Let's see if he shores some things up here defensively to prevent that fate moving forward. Oh, nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back to the feet now. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a pistol. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, big knee to the body. How did he get that one off? And a knee. Just 
Just out of range with that right hook. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Seconds left. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In he doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice punch man over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny, it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Straight right hand, no good. attempt, but unable to land. Right hand punch the clinch. And he continues to work the body here. Single collar tie now. Good punch land. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. Oh, nice right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. You got him. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to move forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Beautiful strike. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, straight right. Get right here. Oh. Yes. Trying to kick the leg out. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Finish. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. One minute to go in the fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, feet on the hips here. Side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Huge block there. Final seconds of this fight. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 50 44 declared the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon Lee Nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised.